Hey, I'm Simon and I worked at Egosoft on the game X Rebirth, which is a space simulation. And while I was working there, we created a script which would warn us about visual changes in the game universe. And programmers know something like that as unit testing, but in this case it's about testing graphical stuff. And this video will give you an overview about how the script works and hopefully motivates you to do something similar if you don't have something like this already. The reason why I pushed for the script is that it is just common that mistakes happen during game development. But it's important that you notice them as fast as possible. And sure, it's easy to notice huge and obvious errors. But what if a material of a smaller object somewhere in a huge open world changes? What when the change is not as drastic as just shown? Here you see a scene from X Rebirth. Let's assume that someone works in the material library, which were in our case a big XML file, and accidentally changes the wrong value. Here's the scene again. Can you tell the difference? Here's the answer. The brightness of the Hyrule tube has slightly changed. Sure, it's not a major issue, but was the change intentional or is this a mistake? To keep track of any visual changes, we created the watchdog script. It creates screenshots of our universe, materials and special particle systems every night. And then it compares the screenshots from the day before with those from today and sends warning mails when something changed. This can be a visual change or a performance raise or drop. And in addition, it creates HTML galleries to have a good overview about the uh, uh, screenshots and all the iterations, and even data like, for example, the position in the universe or the frames per seconds are shown. If you think that such a tool could be useful for your workflow, you should check out the detailed descriptions about how we build the script and what third-party uh, software we used. But even if you are not interested in the script itself, the problem section might amuse you because there I listed some interesting problems we were facing, like why minefields and loading times were a problem and what the heck this difference shot wanna tell us. And of course, why small monitors can be a problem. Thanks for watching and have fun reading the article and feel free to contact me with any feedback, opinion or question. Have a nice day and see you soon.